बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल ऑफ सिट्रस इंसेक्ट पेस्ट सिट्रस इज वन ऑफ द मेजर ट्रॉपिकल हॉर्टिकल्चरल क्रॉप अक्रॉस द ग्लोब Though citrus occupies 10.4 lakh hectare of agricultural land in our country, we lag behind major citrus producing country with respect to productivity. Among them, the pest of economic importance in India includes citrus black fly, leaf miner, silla, white fly. mealy bug bark eating caterpillar fruit sucking moth and thrips among the management measures biocontrol agents like predators which is green lace wings ladybird beetles and sylphids and yellow foil parasitoids citrus scylla and citrus leaf miner plays a key role in regulating the pest population Among the biocontrol agents, Malada discharge is a major predator in citrus ecosystem. The larva of Malada discharge feeds on several soft-bodied insect pests like citrus black fly, Scylla, leaf miner, and aphids. The larva can be easily identified with its robust white brownish body carrying heap of carcasses on its back. Multiplication technique of Malada discharge has been identified by ICAR CCRI Nagpur in the biocontrol lab of entomology section. Under laboratory conditions, rice grain moth Corsera cephalonica eggs are provided as larval feed. The culture of rice grain moth has to be continuously multiplied for continuous supply of Corsera eggs for Malada multiplication. Multiplication of rice grain moth. The artificial diet for the multiplication of rice grain moth includes a mixture of broken sorghum grains 50 kg plus groundnut kernel 5 kg. and streptomycin which is added after oven sterilization sorghum groundnut mixture is ground to fine powder followed by sterilization in an oven at 100 plus minus 2 degree celsius temperature for 30 minutes to kill any live insect stages After cooling powdered sorghum groundnut mixture is added at 2.5 kg per tub in plastic tub followed by fresh all live eggs of rice grain moth at 0.1 cc per kg feed and streptomycin at 0.1 g per 1 kg diet mix thoroughly and cover the tub with a muslin cloth moth start emerging after 42 45 days which continues for the period of 1 and a half months emerging rice grain moths are collected daily using test tube from plastic tub stacked on the racks and transfer to the oviposition chambers or cages with inverted funnel secured with nylon sieves for egg laying cotton wad soaked in 50% honey solution is kept suspended in the oviposition chamber as adult diet Daily rice grain moth eggs are collected with the help of a brush onto a paper. The scales and body parts of rice grain moth adults should be removed by slight fanning. Followed by sieving. 
and are stored in homeopathic glass vials in deep freezer. Multiplication technique of Malada discharge density has been standardized by ICAR CCRI Nagpur. Malada is a green lace wing predator found feeding on citrus insect pests. Oviposition chamber consists of sterilized plastic jars with black paper and fresh Nagpur mandarin twigs held in flask filled with water as oviposition substrate to induce egg laying by Malada female. Cotton wad dipped in a solution consisting of proteinex 40 gram plus fructose 70 gram in 250 ml of distilled water. Adults start laying eggs 6 to 8 days after emergence. Newly emerged adults are then released into oviposition chambers. Freshly laid eggs are green in color and are stalked. Remove the black paper and mandarin twigs with egg masses on alternate days and transfer to egg hatching jars. Folded paper strips are added to prevent cannibalism among the larva. Sprinkle sterilized rice grain moth eggs for the newly emerging malada larva as ready feed and cover with muslin cloth. First and second instars are reared in plastic bottles with inactive rice grain moth. eggs while late third and fourth instars are transferred to plastic tubs with longitudinal paper strip barriers having multifolds to avoid lava feeding on each other. Collect 3 to 4 days old pupae in petri plates. And are kept for adult emergence cage in plastic jars covered with muslin cloth. Adults emerge out in about weeks period which are collected daily and transferred to the oviposition jars. Sponge pieces or cotton swabs soaked with enriched liquid feed is provided as feed for adults of Malada. Field release release either egg cards or larva is recommended. Egg cards are cut at 50 per tree is stippled onto the foliage.
In the case of larva, 30 larva per tree are released with the help of a brush twice in each flashing season, coinciding with the pest incidence for the management of sucking and foliage pests. Among other predators, coccinellite beetles like Chilomenus sex maculatus, Coccinella septum punctata, Cryptolemus montrosieri, Syringium parsicetosum, Skimnus species, and Rhodolia cardinalis are found under natural conditions in citrus ecosystem. Sylphids like Ischidon scutellaris. Aristalis species larva feed on soft-bodied insects, particularly aphids, and suck out the body contents. Among the parasitoids, Tamarixia radiata, Cirrospilus cordistriatus, and Citrostricus filonistoids are the important ones. Tamarixia radiata is an ectoparasitoid of Asian citrus psyllid, and the parasitoid larva feeds on the hemolymph of the psyllids. Lava pupate inside mummified nymphs and emerge out in 9 to 14 days by making a hole through the thorax of the host insect. Citrus leaf minor parasitoids, which is Citrostechus philonistoids, prefers mid instars and lays single eggs on host insect, while Cirrospilus cordistriatus females deposit an egg on last instar citrus leaf minor larva or on pupae within the pupal chamber, finally killing the leaf minor larva due to its feeding on its host. Use of neem oil, azadirichtin, neem soap, pangomia soap, petroleum spray oil and lecanicelium lecana eye can be integrated along with the bioagents for safe and effective management of citrus insect pests. Conservation of bioagents play an important role in biocontrol of insect pests. Avoid insecticide sprays during bioagent active periods like early spring and late winter. Also, conserve the natural buildup of parasitoids in the orchards by planting nectar bearing flowering plants like marigold, castor, etc., on the buns. Adopt biocontrol today for better tomorrow.